Elon Musk, Jeff Bezos and Warren Buffett, three of the richest men in the world. And yet it's very likely that you pay more tax as a proportion of your earnings than they do. In fact, Warren Buffett once said this. But I'm paying about the same percentage of my income to the federal government as my secretary does. Leaked tax returns analyzed by ProPublica found that Jeff Bezos paid no federal income tax in 2007 and 2011, while Elon Musk didn't pay any income tax in 2018. The rich have it different than the rest of us. They make their money holding assets, capital, and we tax capital very lightly. So why do the ultra wealthy pay so little tax as a proportion of their wealth? And why can't politicians seem to do anything about it? People like Elon Musk and Jeff Bezos didn't become the two richest people on the planet by being paid a salary. Instead, they like to be compensated in the form of shares in the companies that they run. Shares though, are very different to a salary. You only pay tax, capital gains tax, when you sell shares. The top tax rate on capital gains is 20%. By contrast, wages, salaries, bonuses are taxed at 37%. And that's just the start of the benefits. Many billionaires follow a mantra called buy, borrow, die when it comes to tax. The simple idea is that capital gains tax only applies when you sell shares. So simply don't sell them, ever. A key part of the, the buy, borrow, die sort of strategy is trying to, to consume potentially without uh, having to unlock a lot of cash or liquidity that is mostly reinvested into you know, a business. But there is an intrinsic problem with this strategy, because if you're not being paid a salary and you're not actually selling the shares that you own, how do you find the money to buy yachts and private islands? Well, that's where the borrow part of the strategy comes in. You simply borrow money using your shares as collateral. Elon Musk can borrow money from a bank, say, and use that borrowed money to buy whatever billionaires buy. And a borrowing in our system is not a taxable event. And it gets even better than that, because if you borrow money from the bank, you may even be eligible for tax breaks. And then there's the final part of the strategy, the kicker. When they pass away, they can then go ahead and bequeath it to an heir who uh, does not pay tax when that uh, asset is given to them. In the US, we call that uh, the step up in basis. Almost everywhere, schemes like this are being used by the uber wealthy to avoid paying tax, all perfectly legal. In the US, Joe Biden tried to torpedo the die part of the buy, borrow, die strategy. But the president's push simply didn't get the support it needed in Congress. Another idea to tax a person's net wealth annually didn't make it either. Most scholars believe a wealth tax is questionable under our constitution, which limits the ability uh, to tax property directly. And that's why many tech billionaires who have made a fortune during the pandemic may well pay a lower tax rate than you do. And the chances of that changing anytime soon are pretty minimal. Now, at the end of the day, uh, the billionaires, uh, I think, will win. The framework of, of our income tax rules will not be changed in any fundamental fashion. 